Kentred, you got to man up, you had all these kids. I'm like, Kentred, you got to stand up, it's your time, I see it. I'm like, Deshaun, thugging, you just hustling backwards, nigga, you the one. I just felt accepted, shit not good for anyone. Oh, oh, it's my shit. What up, though? It's your boy, Chris, man. I'm back with another video. Like, comment, subscribe, push notifications. Man, if y'all watched my last video, man, go check it out, man. I recently... Uh, talked about the takeoff situation, but um, R.I.P. the takeoff. Shout out to Meek Mill for doing a tribute for him at his last ten year anniversary concert. For real, shout out to shout out to Meek for that. But um, this video is on the Don Dada, the last Lamento, top young boy, and it's actually some. I ain't gonna lie though. I love one thing about me. I love seeing the growth in a lot of artists. You know what I'm saying? Like well, artists that. Rap about the same shit. Been in the game 10, 15 years. Rapping about the same shit. You don't, see, you don't hear no substance. No growth in their music. I don't like that. But NBA Youngboy is dropping a new album in January called Black. And my man's supposed to be rapping about positive shit. Ain't supposed to be rapping about no violence, bro. And as actually smart, let me tell you. Youngboy already got an established fan base, right? The young generation rocking with him regardless, no matter what he dropped. The young generation rocking with him. Some of the older cats like him. You know what I mean? But all the older cats say the same thing about him. They be like, I don't want to hear that shoot him up shit all day. I don't want to hear that drug rapping about shooting shit, drilling shit, um, lane, perks, all that shit. He said, they be like, they don't even want to hear that, bro. So the simple fact that he dropping an album rapping about no violence, nothing but positive, bro. The older, the older generation might rock with him. You know, young boy talented, bro. The man didn't drop what seven albums this year? Six or seven albums this year? Yeah, he very talented. I rock with him. So my thing is, is he gonna stay consistent with it? Like you can't drop an album, you can't do the Kanye, drop a gospel album and then go back to Rapping about the other bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, that's the shit Kanye do. Is he going to stay consistent? Is my man's going to drop this album, the positive album, and then stay consistent with it? You know what I mean? Because young boy talented, bro. He ain't got nothing else. Young boy got a deep catalog. He only been in the game since, like, 2016, 2017. The man has a catalog, bro. He got more albums than rappers that been in the game for 20, 25 years. You know what I'm saying? So I want to just see is is this growth that he's trying to do is this going is he going to stay consistent with it? Cause young boy, I ain't gonna lie, he he they trying to blackball him in the industry, but he constantly going, he constantly going. Don't nobody like Quando Rondo. That's his boy. That's his man's. My man's did an album with him, a joint album. You know what I'm saying? The baby. He, they trying to blackball the baby. He did an album with him. Young boy don't care. He did a song with Lil Nas X. You know what I mean? Young boy like who he like, or he don't care about the industry. Like like Meek Mill said at his ten year anniversary concert about the baby. This is a prime example because the baby. Go watch it. Go look it up on YouTube. The baby performed Suge, Masterpiece, and uh, For the Night. He performed them three songs. Wells Fargo Center. Had it lit. Turn. And like Ben, like Meek said, this is the prime example of that the internet ain't shit. He don't need the internet. He don't need social media. He got the streets. That's real shit. So, like young boy got some songs though, positive songs. You know what I mean? Like I like Heart and Soul. You know what I'm saying? That's a song he he really rapping about real life shit. You know what I mean? He got he got songs like um, "Make Me or Break Me." You know he got some songs, but um, it's it's all about what he want to do for his fans. That's how I look at it. It's all about what he gonna do for his fans because he has a big fan base. Young young boy just uploaded his IG again because he deleted his IG for a long time. The man dropped a real G. The nigga drop a reel. The nigga get 2 million views easily. I'm like, damn. He doing, he, he getting more 
more views than LeBron James. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. Like, that nigga has an insane fan base, bro. A loyal fan base at that. Young boy could drop a bullshit album, bro. Seven songs on there or something. Just trash and motherfuckers still gonna rock with it. Don't get me wrong, he got some haters, though. Be hating on the little nigga. I, don't hate, I ain't no hater, bro. The nigga been holding Louisiana down for the longest. Bad Rouge. But like I tell people about Young Boy, if you don't like Boosie, if you don't like Webby, if you don't like Kevin Gates, you're not gonna like Young Boy. All he is is a newer generation, then, bro. That's all he is. He ahead of his he ahead of his time, bro. I'll be listening to him. I'll be like, dog, how you know about this type of pain? How do you know about this type of pain, bro? I'm 27. I've been through a lot of shit in my life, bro. And the shit he be rapping about, I'm like, damn. You younger than me, bro. How you know about that type of pain? <laughs> you feel me? You know? But uh, like I said, your boy dropping a positive album about no violence. It's called Black. It's dropping in January. Let's see how it is, man. I'm, I'm definitely going to be waiting on it. My birthday in January, too. January 17th. I'll make sure I make me a, a short. Make me a short. You know, talk about my BA. You know, I'll probably make me a little live or something. You know, y'all turn up with me. All my subscribers, man, I love y'all. Thanks for thanks for staying with staying down with me, man. Comment, sharing, you know what I mean. Giving me y'all thoughts on what I be talking about. I love y'all, man. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all. You know, like, comment, subscribe, push notifications, man. I'm out.